Ridgeway, we have an office in Durango, we're based out of Houston, uh, we're a small company. We've been in Colorado, um, in different areas of Colorado since the early 1990s in one form or another. Um, there's a lot to respond to, I'm sure I'll be cut off before I can get all those responses. So I, I ask, if you've signed up to ask a question, truly ask a question and I'll try to answer it. Um, and I will try to get to a few notes I've made on every speaker. Um, I do appreciate being here tonight. I've tried to make every one of these that I've either been invited to or stumble upon. Um, I, what, I, what my goal is tonight is to not necessarily address the specifics of the APDs we filed, but to try to clarify what I believe is misinformation that's out in the public. Uh, I'm not saying this misinformation is intentional. I just believe it's misinformation. And I ask you uh, to objectively analyze based on the best information you can get. Um, I don't think I have enough business cards for everybody here, but um, my contact information is always available uh, through the county or uh, through the BLM. And I encourage people in the future to call, email, ask questions, and I will do my best to respond. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a couple maps and a couple of the numbers that you've heard. Um, Zane and I have talked about this map. This is the Thompson Divide area map, and I didn't mean to shut off or cut off Thompson Divide's name down here. My printer ran out of paper. Um, so this red outline here is what has become popularly known as the Thompson Divide area. And I contest this. Um, not to be objectionary, just, just to object, but this is the Thompson Divide area. I'm not going to draw a circle around it because I'll get it wrong. This is Muddy Creek. This is Coal Basin. This is Huntsman's Ridge. This isn't Thompson Divide. This is part of the Divide Creek drainage. So I want to be clear about what we're talking about. We're not talking about a 200, we're not talking about a quarter million acre area that's impacted by our development. That's one of the numbers I contest and, and, I, and I continue to disagree with when it comes to talking to media or with certain groups. Um, the, five APD, the six APDs on five locations we're submitting are all outside of the Colorado roadless area. None of them are inside the Colorado roadless area. The other numbers I contest are some that, uh, Ms., or that Peter brought up and some that I know the county has put in some of their documentation with the state. This idea that we plan on 720 wells on 180 pads or something similar to that. 